Anzac Day is a very special day for all Australians, but particularly for those of us who serve. Uh, it's a reflection of our national history, uh, what we've achieved, uh, mostly in war, but also what we stand for in peace. The Anzac legend was born out of a time of uncertainty, out of a time when the country was, was looking for direction as a, as a young nation. Uh, in 2020, as we observe Anzac Day this year, uh, we face uncertainty. We don't know what the next three months will hold. We don't know what the next six months will hold. Uh, so it's important that we gain strength from where we've come from and reflect upon what it is to be Australian and what it is to be a member of the Australian Defence Force. Uh, so this year, uh, we won't be doing the things that we've traditionally done. I was looking forward to actually uh, representing the Australian Defence Force and the Australian people at Gallipoli this year. The ceremony uh, of remembrance uh, will not take place at Anzac Cove this year and uh, we will see one national ceremony that will take place at the Australian War Memorial and uh, I expect that I'll probably be at home and I'll watch that national service uh, and reflect on the fact that all of us are doing things very differently this year. I think it is a great opportunity for, for all people, all Australians, particularly those of us in the Navy and in the, in the ADF, uh, to reflect on what service means. I'll be thinking about a lot of things. Uh, I'll be thinking about the people I've served with uh, over my time in the Navy. I'll be thinking about the people who are serving uh, in our Defence Force today and particularly those who will be at sea on Anzac Day this year. I'll think about my ancestors uh, who have served in the Defence Force and, and ultimately I will be thinking about those men and women who have served in our Defence Force and given the ultimate sacrifice for their country. As the Chief of Navy I call upon all Australians to reflect proudly uh, on what it means to be an Australian, but also to take a moment uh, to reflect uh, and commemorate those who have served uh, in our Defence Force willingly and in some cases who have suffered uh, the ultimate sacrifice and, and many have continued to suffer from the injuries uh, and stresses of war. Uh, we should also think about the families who have supported our men and women uh, throughout our nation's history of service. Uh, think of their sacrifice and think of what it means to have a strong family and strong friends that support what we do when we need to do it. The one message I'd have for Navy people this year, uh, particularly as we stop and pause uh, to commemorate Anzac Day, is to really think deeply what it means to be an Australian. And notwithstanding the fact that Anzac Day 2020 is very different to any other Anzac Day we've experienced in our lifetimes, it does not change in any way the roles and responsibilities that we have as Navy people. Anzac Day is always important, and it's important for all Australians to, to reflect on it however you can, lest we forget.